Hi guys, I guess what? It's a winter <laughs> southern Russia. I'm in Krasnodar, it's the capital of the Krasnodar region. And uh, yesterday it was the day, the day before Monday, this Wednesday and Monday, it was literally plus 15 Celsius. So it's about maybe 65 Fahrenheit and it was nice and warm. And then suddenly we got this uh, cyclone. I believe from Siberia because we got like rainy rainy weather and then it, the temperature started to drop and it dropped below zero and then suddenly we got this ice skating green look on the road <laughs> road looks like ice skating it's just um of course you know people taking care of it there's a lot of sand on the road so it's not really uh, dangerous to walk on uh, but it's chilly for southern Russia. We have tonight it's minus five uh, Celsius, which is way below freezing temperature. And tomorrow is going to be even colder than that. Uh, I, I think we expect some snow and additional later this week. But guess what? I'm from Dallas, Texas. And we're expecting the same cyclone a few days from now. Probably by weekend it's going to be cold in Dallas as well. It's going to be minus 16 Celsius, which is, uh, I don't know, <laughs> Fahrenheit is way below 22 Fahrenheit. Uh, and it's going to be snow and I'm sure it's going to be another snow apocalypse in Dallas. Look at the cycling on the road. Uh, so, in general, climate here in Krasnodar region is sim very similar to what's in Texas. Uh, maybe a little bit softer climate, I would say. It's not as hot during the summertime and normally not as cold. <laughs> and sometimes it's in Dallas. Uh, but right now, yeah, we have like a, like a pa apocalypse. Although Russians are very well prepared uh, for snow and cold weather. Their cars have particular tires, which are really suitable for, um, I would say, for the very cold and icy roads. Also, uh, the roads very well take care of. We don't see as many car incidents and all kind of crashes as normally you would see it in Texas and Dallas during this kind of weather. Uh, there's also boxes with sand all over the place. This is yellow boxes. It says Pesop, which means sand. And uh, still people walking around, enjoying life. Although Christmas spirit is over. But uh, here in Russia, we also celebrate Old New Year, which we're going to have on January 14th. So until then, we're still going to have... Oh, look at the kids having fun. And, uh, and this ice, a uh, piece of ice here. <laughs> really people like ice skating in Russia and ice. So anywhere you can find ice, you're gonna have fun. Frozen rivers and creeks and lakes. Some of the examples. So this is the cafe I'm going to. Have some hot tea and get some Hot pierogies. This is a gallery mall. I'm sure a lot of people still shopping there. We're gonna check it out. I need to return to weather I bought for Christmas for myself. But the roads are pretty clean, which is very nice to see. Uh, yesterday there was no any uh, traffic jams anywhere. At least I have not seen any. Uh, like I said, Russian cars already changed, changed tires on nice winter season tires, so people should not have any issues to drive. So we're going to the store and see if any more people walking during this freezing temperature or not. It's a beautiful 
Google Russian store. Galahir. Uh, Zarina used to be Zara. <laughs> you know, talking about the brand um, exchange, right? They just basically exchange a name from Zara to Zarina. I believe it was the same store. Huge sale going on. I need to find my store to remove, to return the sweater. Wall is still pretty nice, organized. So I also have this place where you can see where you are. So this is where I am, it's arena. And uh, little Alice here is a uh, French store. Uh, and I need to find my store. people of course than before Christmas definitely but still even as cold as it is outside people still shopping even these beautiful decorations from Christmas anyway just a short excursion and showing you the cold weather in Russia which again, uh, it's the south, uh, southern part of Russia, uh, Krasnodar region, normally it's not a Siberia, I don't think all Russia is cold and under snow all the time, it, it's not true. So, uh, stop. Anyway, I will see you later guys, I need to go jump into my search for my store and try to get something to eat for dinner.